everybody, it's Candy from The Candy Show, and I'm here with an episode of Candy Reads. I'm quite excited. The book that I'm reviewing is called A Medicine Walk uh, by Richard Wagamese, which is a novel. And uh, Richard Wagamese is a very prolific Canadian Aboriginal author. This is his ninth novel. He has a book or two of poetry, a whole bunch of nonfiction. Some of his uh, better known fiction would be Keeper and Me, um, Indian Horse. He's an incredible author and the reason I'm so excited to review this right now is this week I'm actually appearing at Acadia University with him. He is uh, coming to Nova Scotia to speak at this big gathering that's happening at Acadia. It's an evening talk and I'm going to talk right before him so I'll get a chance to meet him. And, and I'm hoping to zip out and buy a second copy of this book and have him sign up for my brother. Um, a Medicine Walk is basically a son who was separated from his father uh, very young and there was all kinds of mystery and family secrecy around who his parents were and all of that. He was raised by an old man and um, his father summons him when he's about 16 or 17 and the book is about that summoning and um, and what happens as they walk out together, father and son. When I read it, I absolutely loved it. I was enthralled by it. For some reason, I just couldn't get my brother Sydney out of my mind. Um, and so, Sydney's not a huge reader, but I am gonna grab this book for him and just hope that he reads it. Anybody who has unresolved issues with parents, uh, you might feel something in this if you have parents that passed away that you have unresolved things with. Uh, it's just a really deep, deep look at the parental relationship steeped in native culture but I think whether you're native or not it will really appeal to you. If you like Canadian literature, if you are looking to expand your mind when it comes to Canadian literature, I really really recommend anything by Richard Wagamese but particularly Medicine Walk. Big thumbs up for me and I'm so excited. Please watch on Twitter and Instagram for pictures of when I get to meet Mr. Wagamese later this week. Follow me on Goodreads, click everything down here you're supposed to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.